Hi everyone, it's Alita from Science Stars here to do some fun hands-on science with you today. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make some slime. To make the slime you're going to need 250 milliliters of glue, 300 grams of corn flour, food coloring which is optional but makes it nice and colorful, something to stir with and a bowl. So you may have made slime before and this way is a wee bit different. This is a new one for me as well. I've never made it using both glue and corn flour. I've made it before using just corn flour, and maybe hair conditioner, um, or I've used glue and used some sort of activator. So I'm excited to see what way it's gonna turn out. So I have my corn flour here and I have my stirring utensil here. I've got my glue here and I've got my blue food coloring because blue is my favorite color. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to add a little bit at a time and give it a stir. Okay, so get that mixed in. And we'll pour a wee bit more and we'll mix that. Slime is a wee bit of a funny thing, isn't it? It's not quite a solid but it's not quite a liquid either. There's a scientific term for it and we call it a non-Newtonian fluid. Can you say that? Non-Newtonian fluid. That means it can behave like a liquid sometimes and other times it can behave like a solid. So do you know that a solid is something hard? This table, very hard it is a solid. Something like water or milk, those are liquids. And what makes it a liquid is that it can change shape. If I pour a glass of milk into a bowl, it's going to take the shape of a bowl. And if I pour it back into a glass, it's going to take the shape of a glass again. So that's how I know that that's a liquid. So I'm going to add some color now. You count with me. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll keep stirring. Now, if you find that the slime is a wee bit too slimy or sticky. You can add some more corn flour. But if you find that it's too firm, too stiff, you can add some more glue. I think it looks a wee bit sticky. So I'm gonna add a wee bit more corn flour. Add a wee bit more there. And give another wee stir. So what do you think it's gonna feel like? I think it's going to feel mushy. I'm hoping it's going to be fluffy. Now, after a few minutes of kneading it or basically mixing it around, you can start to do it with your hands. This feels great. So if you didn't have glue, but you had corn flour and you wanted to make slime with corn flour, you could just add some water to it and you would still get slime. And if you wanted to make it smell lovely, you could do corn flour with conditioner, hair conditioner. And that also gives a similar texture to this fluffy slime that we're getting here. So there's a few di different ways to make uh, this type of slime that doesn't require an activator such as boric acid. So as you can see, it's looking great. So I'm going to roll it in a ball. So do you think it will stay as a ball? Once I roll my ball, do you think we'll stay like that? How do we think? Let's see what happens, will we? Does it bounce? Nope. 
Does it stretch? Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so much fun. We'll move that out of the way now, and then we can use the table. And clean the table. Oh my goodness, I am going to have fun for hours with this. I can't wait. So today we have made some fluffy slime and we've talked a little bit about solids and liquids and we've seen that even though it's stretching and changing shape like a liquid, it also can be formed into shapes such as a sphere. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Let's see if we can get it to bounce. <laughs> Hello. This is great fun.